Hey guys, Scott Drew here with Demora Homes. Today I'm here with Travis Rash of Barone, and we're talking about ERVs, specifically the AI series ERV from Barone. Travis, can you tell us uh, what your role is with Brown? Scott, I'm the group product manager for our fresh air systems here in the US for Brown. So ERVs, HRVs, supply fans, fresh air dampers, that all kind of falls under my umbrella and as well as dehumidification uh, for Brown in the US. Mm. And so Travis has been helping me understand how these products work, uh, which accessories and buttons to buy with them and where we can get them. And so today he's going through town and we're gonna have a look at what we have going on in this house. So Travis, while we're up here in the attic, it's kind of dark. We'll point out a few things up here and then finish our conversation downstairs. What can you point out about this ERV? So with the Brone AI series unit, one of the unique features is this onboard LCD screen. The entire commissioning process can be done via these three buttons, as well as the information you get on this LCD screen. So you're gonna see things like real-time airflows. You will set the install configurations, you know, based on whatever type of design you have, as well as other settings in terms of what do you want it to do when it gets a signal from a boost switch? What do you want it to do from a defrost standpoint? All the things that you can do from a commissioning standpoint are all done via this LCD screen. You're gonna notice there's no pressure taps on this door. There's no need for any kind of manometers, magnetic gauges to verify. It's all done internally with the LCD screen. So you're gonna see real time what it is that this ERV in this case is performing at. So when you do that commissioning, you set your target CFM. This unit will respond accordingly and always meet that target CFM. So as things change, whether it's the filters get clogged, upward, exterior terminations, anything that may clog up over time, this unit's gonna to continue to compensate and make adjustments for those types of changes. So this particular ERV is the 160, goes up to 160 CFM, but you can set that at a lower rate if you wanted to, is that correct? Yeah, so you can take it all the way down to 35 CFM in one CFM increment. So if you okay. really wanna dial that in, you're able to do that with this unit. And can you also establish what the boost mode it would be? In most cases, if you have a continuous ventilation rate you're looking to meet, we'd have that set in the minimum speed setting, and then your max, the first time you plug this unit in, it's basically gonna do a diagnostic of the entire install. So ductwork, what's going on with, you know, how long your ductwork is. Basically, it's gonna just give out on this LCD screen, what is the max CFM that this unit can comfortably achieve and run, you know, properly. So this 160 unit with its ductwork, maybe there's additional static pressure for what reason, you know, maybe it can only reach 155 CFM as an example. Mm -hmm. So the first time you plug that in, that's what it's gonna do is it takes 60, 90 seconds to do that. That's where you can set, if you just leave it at that 155 as your max, that can be your boost side. And then you can set your min to whatever your continuous ventilation rate is. And then if you were to hit any of those boost switches, um, it would then boost into that max speed of that 155 in this example. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and have Travis open this up so that we can see exactly how an ERV works. So in the AI series, we, we basically have two latches the door will lift off. And so there's really three key components that make up ERV. So the first is our filter. So this is our first line of defense. We got our fresh air coming in from the outside. It's gonna come across this filter. This one happens to be a washable filter. So we got our filter piece. The next is our recovery core. When we look at our recovery core, you can see there's thousands of these little air channels. And so we're bringing fresh air in from the outside. We're taking stale air from the inside and it's going across. The air paths themselves don't touch. Each of those air passes through these little channels and there's a thermal exchange. And in the case of an ERV, as well as a moisture vapor exchange. If we got hot air coming in and we're bringing cool air out of the house, hot goes the cold. So we're naturally we're gonna temper that hot air that we were bringing into the house with that cool air that was taking out of the house. Same goes for moisture. So wet goes to dry. So if we have a moist air coming in and we have conditioned air that's drier, going out of the house, we're gonna have to take some of that moisture back out to the outside because of this recovery core. Again, that's where really the magic mm -hmm. happens. And then finally, we have blower fan motors. Again, we gotta move air in and out. So we have some blower foreign fan motors here. So we're gonna draw that air in from the outside and then we take that stale air back to the outside. Again, we're moving air through this core within the insulated box. So again, we're managing temperatures. And obviously in this hot attic, we have a warmer attic space. And again, we're moving temperatures at different temperatures air through these. Uh, we wanna make sure it's insulated, making sure we don't have any chance of condensation. Itself. In my case, the attic will be conditioned, but yeah, it makes sense for different conditions. So is there a way to have a better filter for the CRV? Yes, yeah, so we also offer a MERV 13 filter. So that okay. MERV 8 basically would pull that out. And then there's a pleated MERV 13 filter that slides in its place. Okay, 
so, but there's nothing like retrofit or anything like that. Just slides right in. Correct. Okay. Yes, it would take the place of the existing. What we've done with that filter design, so that Merv 8 that I showed you was flat across, where that Merv 13 is a much deeper V-plated filter. We talk about static pressure with the design of that filter, as well as the AI series technology. You're not going to see any difference in the CFM. So that 155 I gave earlier, mm -hmm. if I set that with the current Merv 8 filter, replace it with that Merv 13, we're not going to see any drop with that 155 that we were achieving before. Due to the filter design awesome. between that and the AI series technology. So Travis, I know there's a lot of people out there that don't even know why use an ERV to begin with. We have bath fans that fillers have been using for years and you turn them on, they're making noise, seems to be working. So what's the big deal? Why can't we just stick with that? Yeah, Scott, with the change <laughs> over the years, you're doing it yourself. For energy efficiency purposes, you know, we've really tightened up the overall building and for a multitude of reasons. And so as that building tightness has become tighter and tighter, you know, we still need to be able to provide fresh filtered air to the home in a balanced fashion. So if you think about it like a very sealed up box, we were to use those old bath fans and a continuous ventilation rate, we're gonna negatively pressurize that annual. With a balanced system, just like the name states, we wanna balance those pressures throughout the annual. We're trying to minimize that outdoor infiltration of the climate that may be. So if we're in a negatively pressurized system, that negative, that outdoor climate is gonna find its way into the house versus in a balanced situation, we're going to balance that pressure indoor and outdoor. And with the ERV, it's the most energy efficient way to bring that fresh filtered air into the house in a controlled manner. The recovery that we had talked about, that filtration we had talked about, again, having those types of things be able to deliver that fresh air in a balanced fashion is the reason for the move to ERVs entirely with the energy efficiency standards that we're working for. So, you know, I think this whole balance thing is really important. I suspect that there are a lot of issues happening in homes these days where the depressurization of the home is part of that and people don't even realize or have no idea that that is part of what's happening. Just recently, I went to a house, the whole house is spray foamed. It's got some level of tightness. The house is two years old and the owners are remodeling and expanding. So they've opened up the walls. And I just posted pictures of this recently, but what they found is that underneath the windows, the sheathing is black and wet. My first thought about that is obviously it's a flashing problem there's no doubt the windows were flashed poorly you know bottom corners were not covered which is surprisingly pretty common but I think what happens in addition to that, the fact that a lot of people aren't considering is the depressurization of the home. So now we've created a path for water to go through because someone didn't cover the corner like they should have. But now you're turning on all these bathroom fans in a relatively tight house, depressurizing, and now that path that you've got a forest that is pushing that water through. I think the story I'll share quick, Scott, is I was in a house in Nashville, Tennessee. So it's certainly some humid, hot days of the year. They had been using the continuous exhaust strategy, built the house pretty tight, but every single outlet box that was on an exterior wall had a perfect ring of mold around it because that's where the air wow. was infiltrating. So we were negatively pressurizing that envelope and we we're bringing our cold, you know, air conditioning air. Where those two airs were meeting was at that leakage point at the electrical boxes. Yeah. And that's where the conversation Crazy. occurred. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and walk around this house with Travis and we'll show how we're using the ERV in this particular house. It will vary. Let me just say, this is a spec home. The install method kind of differs depending on the house. On a spec home, obviously we're going to keep it simple. I have seen people talk about high numbers for install. I want to let people know that it doesn't necessarily have to be that high. I think a lot of contractors are going to charge for the unknown. If you're using a contractor that does not know about it, they may charge extra but any contractor that knows about them, this is a very simple install. Travis, you can go ahead and take it away because you have a pretty good idea of what I'm doing here. Or I'll just jump in when I need to. Yeah, so you ended up taking, basically we got the fresh air coming into the ERV. In the case for this particular install, you're taking that fresh air from the ERV and putting it into the return side of the air handler. We're gonna be able to run this continuously, regardless of what the air handler is doing. We can distribute that fresh filtered air into the home. And then what you also have is set up is you have different stellar extraction points. In this particular case, we're in the bathroom here. You've got a stellar extraction point over the shower here. So that's good, that's our source. So we wanna get close to the source. This is a great way to do that. And you also have one basically where the toilet will be for again, what you're extracting for. And then you have as well over here, basically a boost switch. So this is a low voltage line coming in. And so if the homeowner were in this house, they're taking that shower and we want to take it from that low CFM that we're running continuously, boost it up that 155. You're able to do that by simply pushing that boost switch, just like you would have with a bathroom fan switch. You gotta boost that ERV up into high speed for that duration of time. 
we'd be able to evacuate this area much more quickly because of that push that boost switch. Exactly, and that push button can go for 20, 40, and 60 minutes, right. just depending on what's happening in the bathroom. Maybe you can just quickly talk about the Overture system as well. Overture is a fully connected system within the home for ventilation products. If we were to use, let's say, a back vent as an example in a different area of this house, with Overture, we can sense pollution, we can sense humidity, we can sense TOVOC, we can sense certainly temperature as well as some VOCs, and we can act upon them. So if you have a ventilation device like a back vent, like an ERV, like a kitchen rancher, this whole system of pieces of different hardware, whether it's a wall control, a room sensor, as well as a smart plug that our ERV would plug into, as an a indoor air quality vent occurs, high pollutant for whatever reason might be, those sensors are going to pick up on that and then have dedicated ventilation piece react. It may be boosting up in this case, it might be boosting up the ERV if we were to have the overture system in this bathroom. If you have it in the kitchen, it may boost up that kitchen range hood or turn it on if somebody's not turning on the kitchen range hood. So there's a number of various things that Overture, because it's a completely connected system within the home, can act on those indoor air quality. Rooms. That's great. I love that automation. So let's go ahead and walk through it. the rest of the house. We can even show that button because we've, we've got it sitting over here. Say just real quick, I mentioned this in the last video. This is one example of of how um, you can use the ERV just to kind of help move air through the house. This is a small closet with no load. It's surrounded by air conditioned space, even above. But having a supply in here would actually be too much, but using this ERV exhaust port, I'm able to pull in air and replace this air rather than just supplying. Yep, here's the button. So this would be our override button. So this would be in that bathroom that we showed earlier. This particular one also has a humidity sensing feature. So like Scott mentioned, we have the 20, the 40, and the 60 minutes. So as I push this button, it'll go up in time ranges. So again, that'll have that ERV in this case boost that max CFM for that duration of time. And then the other piece, one of the other components about our Overture system. So this here is the smart plug. In Scott's case, this is what would the ERV would plug into via these low voltage dry contacts. If any of those sensors that we had talked about earlier, the switch or the room sensor were to pick up an indoor air quality event, they would then basically be able to, via Wi-Fi, have this smart plug, take that ERV into the boost function and then run for the duration until that indoor air quality event is clear. And just to continue on with that tour, there's the other bathroom. There's the exhaust port there. As kind of a general rule, we're putting them the opposite end of where the door is at to promote that airflow all the way through the room. And then the only other place I have an exhaust port in this house is in the laundry room here. With that simple install, we're pulling the air from bathroom and laundry typically, or in this case, through that closet as well. And then actually we'll just show real quick. This is where the fresh air is coming in, goes to the ERV. That one is makeup air for the range hood, so that's something different. That's the exhaust for the ERV. When that incoming air comes in, goes through the core of the ERV and then uses the existing ductwork to distribute throughout the house. And that is one of the ways that you can make the install cheaper. There's lots of ways to install an ERV, but if you're on a budget, that would be the way to do it. Travis, is there anything else you want to add about this ERV? I mean, Scott, you're doing really good work here. I'm very happy to see the, the methods in which you're using. It's always great seeing the progression of these building techniques. Doing what, what you're doing here by educating people is a big important reason for us being here, as well as, again, helping spread that knowledge, making sure people are building healthy houses in the long run. Certainly any of these ventilation products we talk to makes a big difference. In I appreciate that, Travis, and I appreciate you coming out and visiting the job site today. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate the information. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Scott.